Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. So for today's video, I wanted to sit down, get all cozy with you and just chat to you about a few things that have been really helping me through pregnancy, like my kind of holy grail pregnancy must-haves and also some things that we have bought for the baby. So um, for anyone that doesn't know or is new to my channel, I am currently in my 37th week of pregnancy. So I'm actually full term now and it has gone so, so quickly. Um, so obviously the baby is not here yet, but um, I have two children already. So a few of these things I have used before and really loved and a few of them are new to me. So I just wanted to share them with you. A lot of them have come from um, your recommendations on Instagram as well. So I'm so grateful for that. But yeah, I just thought it would be really fun to just sit down and chat with you guys because it really has been a while since I've done this. Um, the background is probably quite different behind me since I last did a sit down video like this. I'll be sharing all of our home updates with you very soon. But I won't go into a ramble about that because that's a completely different video. Um, but yeah, if you are new and you do like videos about family life, home interiors, pregnancy, vlogs, <laughs> that kind of thing, then I really hope you stick around and click the subscribe button, click the notification bell and come and join us here. So, as I've been pregnant for quite a while now and I'm getting towards the end and feeling like quite tired and quite ready not ready for it to be over because we've actually still got quite a bit to do before baby arrives so this time around I'm not like wishing that I was at the end of it already to be honest but it is getting it's getting pretty hard so the first thing that I need to mention if you're newly pregnant make sure you stock up on some of these <sighs> Rennies <laughs> So I've always had quite bad heartburn with my pregnancies. Um, this time it seems to have been really bad. Rennies, especially the spearmint flavour ones, they're not my favourite thing in the world. Like I wouldn't choose them. I don't really like the chalkiness of them. But I know as soon as I've had one, I will feel so much better and I can get to sleep. It is usually the thing I just have to have before I lay down because I think with me, more than heartburn or indigestion, it is acid reflux. And oh my goodness, it feels like there is like lava in my throat. And if you're at that stage in pregnancy or, you know, you've experienced it before, you'll know it is not nice. So Rennie's have been a true lifesaver. So next up, I have something that I want to share with you that I think a lot of you are going to really appreciate, especially if you are pregnant or breastfeeding at the moment. And that is Barley Cup. It looks like this. Now, Barley Cup are actually very kindly sponsoring this section of the video. They got in touch with me a while ago and asked if I would like to try their um, caffeine-free kind of tea, or co tea and coffee alternative. And I said I'd love to give it a go because I am obviously not having, I'm not having any coffee during pregnancy and really limiting how much tea I have because you can't have as much caffeine or you're not meant to have as much caffeine when you're pregnant. Uh, I said I'd give it a go, obviously, before ever speaking about it, because I wanted to check what it was like, if I liked the taste of it. And honestly, it has been such a lifesaver, because I really like, like having a hot drink. Um, and this just means that I don't have to worry about the caffeine element of it. So, um, with coffee, anyway, I don't generally drink it that much, because like, in the past I've had say an iced coffee and I had a panic attack after it because it's too much caffeine for me. So sometimes I can get like a really racing heart. Um, I don't know if that's pathetic, but it's true. Um, but Barley Cup is a cereal drink made from barley, rye and chicory. And um, it's really good. It's like a natural alternative to having tea and coffee, which is, as I said, caffeine free. It's also only 10 calories a cup. Um, so it, I would say the taste of it is very similar to coffee and the, the scent of it is very similar to coffee. Um, just a little bit mild, milder, I would say. I personally really enjoy it. It's the perfect cup for me because it's not too overpowering and it's not too strong, but it still gives you that taste. And it's just a nice hot drink, especially at this time of year as well. I'm, 
off I like craving more hot drinks than in the summer so yeah I've just been enjoying drinking this so much it's also a source of fiber it's good for vegans and it doesn't contain any artificial additives um, so there's loads of really really good plus points to it um, so this is the granulated one you just put two teaspoons in your cup you can add in milk just like obviously hot water <laughs> probably should have said that first um, then you can add in your milk or your milk's uh, like plant-based milk if you want to and then it says to just add in a hint of honey or maple syrup just to kind of naturally sweeten it if you want to um, but I will quickly show you that they do have I've got my my cup in my hand so um, I'm just trying to do everything one hand at the minute but um, they do have a few different flavours as well they have an organic one they also have barley cup with dandelion and my favourite um, out of these three would have to be the barley cup with caramel. And I'm hoping to breastfeed when the baby arrives. Obviously, you just never know from baby to baby. But I will continue to drink this after. Um, and I don't just see it as something that I'll drink whilst pregnant and breastfeeding either. Because I just gen genuinely really like the taste of it. Um, so I will leave a link in the description box. I know you can get it online at Holland and Barra and also on Amazon and it is available in stores in the UK as well. But I'll put some information about where you can get it in the description box if you want to go and check it out after this video. Right, so the next one you're probably going to just laugh at me because it's kind of basic. <laughs> But it has been one of the best things that I've been using during pregnancy. So I thought I might as well share it with you. And that is this old pillow. <laughs> Basically, we just have quite a few, like, you know, the pillows that you have in your house, usually on the bed that have just gone really flat. Um, I have to sleep with a pillow sort of under my bump now. Um, it's partly because that's the only way I feel comfortable and it's also partly because Elliot gets in our bed still. He is our four-year-old for anyone that doesn't know. And I have to kind of use it as a bit of a barrier between me and him if I'm facing him um, because he has a tendency to thrash in the night. So I feel like I have to protect the bump. Obviously, it's not his fault. He doesn't realise he's doing it. But yeah, he'll, he'll thrash. He punched me in the face the other night. So this is like my protective guard. I know you can get like the big pillows, um, which look amazing. But for the reason I just said, we have a four year old in our bed most of the time. And plus, there is a six foot four husband in the bed. Um, I just don't have room for it. I hardly have room for myself. So I just use this and it works a treat. Um, just I think anything that is a bit like supportive, obviously if you want to go and get the, you know, the really cool pregnancy pillows and you can just like wrap it all around yourself in a little cocoon, I'm sure that would be an amazing option as well. But if you've just got a flat pillow with some old, you know, kids pillowcase on it, <laughs> give that a go as well. Maternity clothing has been interesting this time around because I found out I was pregnant right at the beginning of March, so it was still very, very cold. I had no idea what to wear, but um, which sounds silly because I was only just pregnant, so really I didn't need to wear anything different, but the bloating was real. So everything, like my normal jeans felt very uncomfortable very quickly, and, and any trousers did. Um, then through summer, I just lived in stretchy dresses. It was perfect. I'm not gonna really show you any of those because we're now going into winter, but I didn't buy any maternity things like that just because I knew they were like ribbed, stretchy or floaty, pretty dresses. And I didn't want to waste money on those when I kn knew that next year, if they were maternity, I wouldn't really get any more wear out of them. I kept loads of maternity stuff from the boys, but fashion, your fashion sense does change. And to be honest, I haven't really gone and got anything out of that box, which is a, is a shame. Um, but the good thing is I have not really bought any maternity clothes apart from two pairs of maternity jeans and quite a few pairs of maternity leggings. So just the absolute basics. And then I've been able to, as we go into winter, um, be like getting longer, you know, longer jumpers and stuff just for these last few weeks, really. Again, I didn't want to waste money on maternity clothing when... I'm not going to be pregnant for that much longer. So I feel really like quite good about 
not buying too much during this pregnancy that I won't be able to wear next year. Everything I've got, I think, will possibly still fit me. And I'm gonna wear these maternity jeans as long as I can because they're bloody comfortable. I'm just gonna finish this actually and then I'll come right back. <laughs> um, so yes, I will quickly show you them. And if I can find these ones, I'll link them both below because I do rate both pairs. I think I've got, yeah, I know, yeah. They, I think they might be Joni jeans, which is something that I have worn in all my pregnancies, but I thought I would treat myself to a new pair. I know that skinny jeans are not really in fashion at the moment, but I still like skinny jeans, so that doesn't really put me off. And I really like these bump bands that they have. These are really comfortable. Um, both of these and all of the leggings that I've got, so all my maternity stuff has come from ASOS. So like I said, I will link what I've, what I've bought below um, because they really have been such saviours during this pregnancy. And then also from ASOS, which are Cotton On, a brand called Cotton On, um, I've got these ones, which are a little bit more sort of a wide leg mum jean style. Um, they don't have as wide a band on them, but they're still really comfortable. Um, I do like these ones with a band. And I think I just bought these in my sort of normal size, pre-pregnancy size, because obviously they are made for you to wear at, at your size, but pregnant. So yeah, they've been really, really good. And I wouldn't necessarily size up unless you feel like um, that would be more comfortable. And then just black basic um, ASOS maternity leggings have been brilliant um so that's kind of what i've been living in apart from when i have worn dresses i've really been loving actually wearing knitted dresses like with this kind of collar this is just a jumper um but yeah during winter as well with boots so there's lots of different options when you're pregnant um it can be hard depending on what time of year it is i think summer dressing is so much easier but that is what i've stuck to and yeah, they have been my maternity must-haves. If you have any more that you want to share in the comments with anyone else that might be pregnant or newly pregnant and wondering what, what might help them get through difficult times, then please feel free to share. Because I know I don't have loads there. I haven't really, you know, found that many things. But these are the things that I can really pinpoint that have been amazing. So let's get into the baby things. So... The first thing I want to show you actually arrived today um, and it is the Love to Dream Swaddle Up. So we've been trying to work out what baby should sleep in. This is our first ever winter baby and um, you, guidance changes all the time on if they should have blankets or if they should have a sleeping bag and all of these things. I asked on Instagram and this was probably the most popular um, like sleeping bag solution so it's not just a swaddle it is what they sleep in at night so they don't have to have blankets with our first baby we had a crib with like a blanket really tucked in around him at the end and he was at the foot of the crib and we did everything we were told to do in that sense our second baby we had like a next to me bed like snooze pod which we're using again and he had sleeping bags so it just kind of changes all the time but this one looks really good because their arms are kind of enclosed when they're newborns and then it teaches you on the back um, as they start to roll, as they get a bit older, you can have like one arm out and one arm in and then they become more like the sleeping bag style with both of their arms out. I can't say that I recommend it because obviously it's still in the box right now, we haven't used it, but so many people swear by these and say they're really, really good. I've gone for the 2.5 TOG because it is going to be winter soon. Um, although, again, you'll have to help me out here because obviously in the winter, I have the right TOG for the temperature, but then you have your heating on. So it can be really difficult. Even as a third time mum, I'm still like panicking about this stuff. But I do, gen 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 blah, 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 blah. I do genuinely believe that once your baby arrives, you just kind of work this stuff out as you go. But it's nice not to get it wrong when you're spending money on products, I guess. So, yeah, this looks really good. Let me know if you've tried the um, Love to Dream Swaddle Up, if there's anything else you'd recommend. There were so many recommendations, but this one came up highest, so I thought I would give this a go. Next up, I have got a little caddy 
Um, it took me so long to work out how this insert thing went in. I got this from Amazon. So as I said, I will link everything that is available um, in the description box below for you. But I just thought this one was really, really lovely. Um, it's kind of woven. It's got like a rope feel to it. White on the top and natural on the bottom. And then inside it's striped. And you can take all of this out. So it's just an empty caddy. I don't know if there's a way to configure this. So it's just like four or something. I'm not, I haven't really worked out. But it does have these as well, which you could hook onto something. I don't know if they're made to hook onto a pram. But this is quite big. Anyway, this is, I feel like this has become something that Mrs. Hinch has made popular. I think with my last two babies, we just had like a little basket very similar kind of thing for downstairs and one for upstairs. But you could just carry this around the house with you because it's got handles, nappies, wipes, baby, um, na like nappy cream, little toys. Anything for that age and stage can just go straight into there, which is really, really handy. Um, so yeah, you can get loads of different caddies, but that one spoke to me. I liked that one. <laughs> So next up, as you can see again, still in the box, um, but this was something that was really high on my list of things that I wanted to get this time around. I'd heard about it before I even got pregnant and just thought it sounded brilliant. Um, but Owlet actually very kindly sent this to us. Um, this is the Owlet Monitor Duo. So I don't know if you've ever seen, like if you, you're not familiar with it, pictures of um, this little sock. It's like a little green sock and it goes on the baby um, it links up to your phone. It also has the um, the camera and it monitors the babies. Um, let me see if I can see on the side here so I tell you correctly. It monitors um, and tracks heart rate. It tracks oxygen levels. Um, it tracks sleep data. Um, it really does so much. We've always had some kind of sleep... Um, alarm I guess you would call it. With our first two children we had the sort of angel care hard plastic mats that you put under their mattress and um, if they if it didn't sense movement for something like 20 seconds the alarm would go off but I guess even in the last four to seven years technology has moved on so much and I'd much rather than be wearing like this little sock um, instead of having a hard plate under their mattress which as they got older they would then start to roll off and the alarm would go off and you would wake up in the night like absolutely terrified because you could hear the alarm going off. Um, I'm probably not explaining this too well. I haven't mentioned how bad my baby brain is at the moment, but um, yeah, this looks so incredible. It has high definition camera, two way audio, 130 wide angle camera lens. It has a room temperature sensor, um, background audio, um, sound and motion notifications like there is a lot for us to explore with this um, so yeah it comes with the smart sock sensor the base station four socks camera with magnetic base and a wall mounting kit with cable guards um, I've seen people using these and you can sort of get so much info about their sleep and as I said like their oxygen levels and their breathing their heart rate I know this isn't for everybody like not everyone wants to do that um but I just think it's whatever you feel comfortable with as a parent and to me this is this is not really anything that can beat this at the moment so I'm so looking forward to give it a go giving it a go obviously it's not um a full review by me yet but I just wanted to share it with you because it sounds fantastic. Now, next up is another new product to me, which my friend recommended to me last week, last weekend, and I just went home and got it straight away. Um, I hope I'm saying this right. This is a Hacker silicone breast pump. Um, and it had really, really high reviews on Amazon. So I'm gonna get it out. My friend, compare this to Gonzo's nose which I'll never be able to think of it differently now <laughs> it looks like this so glamorous um, it's 100% silicone and basically what you do is whilst you're breastfeeding your baby on one side you suction it to the other breast and it collects all of the milk that would otherwise like leak into a breast pad or over you um, so you can then collect that milk 
and put it in a bottle for another feed. And my friend said she actually does get quite a lot from doing that. And I just thought, what a brilliant idea. Like that's time saving. It's also so simple because you're not like having to manually pump or, I mean, obviously an electric pump does it all for you as well. But that, if this, if this works, which a lot of people say it does for them, then you just literally suction it on and it does its thing. Um, you can sterilise these in like a steam steriliser or you can boil it in hot water for I think it's like two to three minutes and it's good to use. So I thought, why not give it a go? If you're breastfeeding anyway, you might as well be getting more milk out of the other side if you can. So again, I will let you know what I think, but if you've ever tried it, I would love to hear your thoughts on it, what you thought. Um, and also they're about £12. So they're really inexpensive compared to electric breast pumps. I mean, I'm not saying it can necessarily replace an electric breast pump. If you're expressing, then that probably is something that you're going to need. But just to start with, I thought I'd give this a go and then move on to that afterwards um, as we get further into it and know that that's what, how we're going to feed the baby. Um, the next thing I wanted to share with you, I have definitely shared with you before, because this is one of my favourite baby buyers, and this is the Angel Care, um, I don't know the official name, but it's like a bath seat. So we didn't have one of these for Archie, but we definitely had one for Elliot when he started, because obviously we, with Elliot, he was in the bath with his big brother, so we needed something that would go in the bath, rather than like a separate baby bath, which I find to be the most useless thing in the world, because you still have to empty it all out, and, oh, it's just such a faff. So this one is great. I don't know how well you can see it, but this whole base part is mesh. So you just place this in the water. The warm water and bubbles can come up through it so their back's nice and warm. And then obviously you can put like a little cloth on them like a, or a, a muslin so that they're nice and warm and they're safe in there. Obviously, it, I probably don't need to say that you can't leave them in it, um, but they just can lay in there. They feel very relaxed you have one of your hands free to be able to clean them um or both hands free really you don't have to have your hand behind their head they can lay in there and as long as you're right there with them both hands are free if you've got another child or a toddler it's just it's just fantastic they come in gray blue and pink i think and i just really rate them and then i wanted to show you this which is another new product to me but i have heard really good things about it um, and that is the, it's called the Koala Clip-On Pram Book, Easier Outdoors. I'm not really sure why it says that, but it's by Taft Toys. And it says, Easier Parenting. Parenting. Um, so, it's not, well, you can fold it into a book. But what I like about it is, um, it comes with these little clips. And on one side, it's all black and white. So, perfect from newborn because newborns um, can only really see things in black and white up until a certain point. And this is really gonna help them focus. You can put it around, um, like if you have maybe a crib downstairs with you in the daytime and you're supervising them, you can put it around that because there's these clips that it comes with. Or you can put it in their pram when you go out as well. So if they're in the bassinet, you can kind of put it around them to give them a bit of stimul stimulation and something to look at. And as they get a bit older, you can also turn it to this side. It's nice and colourful. It could even go on their baby like play mat and they can look at it. You can, as I said, you can like fold it up into a book. It's quite a versatile, fun, engaging product. And I really, really like it. Obviously, again, with anything like this, I'd never leave them sort of unsupervised. It comes with a little like um, teething ring and little things to hook it onto whatever you want to hook it onto. But yeah, it just looked really good. The reviews were really good and quite a few people had recommended it. So I thought it might be a nice sensory thing just to have for when baby gets that little bit older. So I think that's everything I wanted to share with you today. I'm sorry if I've rambled on a bit, but I've really enjoyed just sitting having a little chat with you, to be honest. Um, this is kind of like my smaller baby buyers. Maybe some of them are more expensive than others. Um, and obviously my pregnancy must have. But if you would like me to make a video on my bigger baby purchases, like the pram, car seat, um, what else have we got? Uh, the crib, baby swing, all of those kind of things, then let me know and I will also make that. Maybe I'll make that 
once we've tried everything out um so it's a little bit more of a review for you guys um because i feel like we've obviously had a baby every three slash four years for a while and new innovative things are coming out all the time to try so some things are going to be the same because we just loved them so much before and some things are going to be different because some new technologies come out that we've i guess wanted to try so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Barley Cup for sponsoring part of this video as well. Like I said, this and everything else will be linked in the description box if you want to go and check it out now. And if you have any other pregnancy or baby related um, recommendations, please go and share them in the comments. It'll be so helpful for me and other pregnant mums, new mums and dads that are watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in another, in another video very soon. Bye guys!